Hello friends, this is Pankaj and welcome to AEM tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about version manager. Actually, AEM creates a new version of a page when you activate or publish your page after updating the content. Let's check this out. Open the AEM instance. Here, go to the sites. Now go to the site console. And in the site console, we have the Geometrics demo site. Go to English page, go to the products. Uh, this is my triangle page. Let me edit this page. Uh, don't show again. So this is my geometric triangle page in the geometrics demo site. So here, let me edit this text. Suppose I'm texting it as story one. Confirm. It has been edited. Now publish this page. So this page has been published. Now go to the publish instance. Let's open this URL. My this publish instance is running on port number 8080. Let's see the page. The content should be updated. So, so yeah, I got updated content. Now go to the sites, check this out, refresh this. So AIM should create a new version of this. So to check this, go to the site console. Go to demo site, English, products, triangle, click on timeline. Here, click on versions. So it has created a version 1.0. Now if I again edit this story, let me edit it as two. Click on confirm and publish this page again. So the page has been published and refresh this on publish instance. It has been updated. Now go to the IM sites, refresh this again. Sites, demo site, English products, triangle. Now go to the timeline again. And uh, it has created the second version that is 1.1. Let me click on versions. So you can see the two versions 1.2 and 1.1. These versions are stored in the repository and can be restored if required. So these versions are never deleted. So the repository size will grow over the time and therefore we need to manage this. So to manage these versions, we can use version manager. The version manager can be configured to delete old versions when new versions are created. So let's go to the system console. Yeah, go to the configuration. And here search for version manager. So version manager can be configured with the day CQWSIM version manager service. These are the parameters available in the day CQWSIM version manager. So if this is enabled, that means it will create a version on activation of a page. If this check mark is enabled, that means it will enable the purging or deleting of version or it will delete the version. This is the purge path where it will check for version purging. And this is the 30, which is max version age. The version which is older than this 30 days will be deleted. And this is the maximum of versions which it will keep older than this one will be deleted. In the next video, we will see how you can configure this version manager. Thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.